Hey what's going on guys my name is Jim Fad. in this tutorial I'm gonna show you how to create this beautiful water drop card hover effect just by using Elementor page builder. So initially we can see this beautiful water drops like this and when you hover over on it you see the water drops are moving or animating like this. So I will show you how to make it very very easily just by using Elementor. So without further ado let's now go inside Elementor page builder. So right now we are inside Elementor page builder. By the way, in this tutorial we will be using Elementor Flex container. So make sure from your WordPress dashboard, from the Elementor settings, under the experiments tab, make sure this Flexbox container is active. All right, let's now go inside Elementor. Now first, I just wanna take a container. So click on this plus icon and I'm taking this row directed container. Now, first of all, I'm making the justify content to centered, also the align items to centered. Then from here I'm setting the minimum height in VH and let's make it 100 VH. Now I wanna add a background color with it. So from under the style tab, from here let's select the background color that's hash EFF0F4. Now within this main container, click on this plus icon because here I wanna drag an inner container like this. Now with this inner container, first of all, I'm making the content width to full width. Then here width first, let's select it in pixel because I want to set its width to 350 pixel. Then the minimum height, I want to keep it same 350 pixel. Also, I'm making the justify content and align items to centered and let's make the gap to zero. Also, I want to add some space in between. So go under advanced tab from here padding. I'm setting it in percentage and let's add 5% of padding all around. Now within this inner container, click on this plus icon. First of all, I'm dragging a heading widget here and I just want it to say 1-1. One, one. Now go under the style tab because I want to make its color a kind of reddish color. So from here, I'm selecting the color hash FF3939. And then from the typography, I just want to make it a little bold like 700 font weight. All right, now underneath this heading from here, I'm just dragging the text editor widget here underneath. And now from under its style tab, I just want to make the alignment to centered. Also, I want to reduce the font size. So from here, I'm making the font size to 14 pixel. Then underneath this paragraph, I want to add a button. So click on the Rubik's cube icon. From here, I'm dragging the button widget here underneath. And I want to make it as the same color of this heading. So from under style tab, let's open the color. And you know, the red color code is hash FF3939. Also, I want to add some space in between this heading and this paragraph. So let's select the heading, go under its advanced tab, unlink the margin. Only at the bottom, I'm adding 20 pixel of margin like this. So we are almost done with the layout. Now I will show you from this simple layout how you can make that beautiful water drop card hover effect. But now before moving forward, I just want to let you know that we have launched our exclusive Elementor kit marketplace that's kitpapa.com. Here you will get all the ready Elementor website kits from different niches like business website, photography website, restaurant website, you can name it. So you can now make your own website or your client's website within a minute. We are also adding new template kits every week on kitpapa.com. Alright guys, let's now get back to the tutorial. So from here, make sure you have selected this inner container. Go under its advanced tab, scroll down and open the custom CSS field. By the way, custom CSS is only available on Elementor Pro. I will put my Elementor Pro affiliate link in the description. If you want, you can get Elementor Pro from that link. Now within this custom CSS field, we will be adding some custom CSS code. So to get that code or CSS snippet, just go to jimfahaddigital.com. I will put this pages link in the description. From that page, if you scroll down a bit, it says water drop CSS. So from there, let's just select all this CSS snippet from here. Let's just select it. Then copy it from here, go inside Elementor and paste the CSS snippet here. And here we go. Just have a look. It's looking really nice. And also if we hover over on it, the hover effect is also working perfectly. I'm also explaining this CSS snippet so you can adjust everything. You can change the way you want. So first let's increase the width of this left bar so you can see it properly. By the way, you don't need to understand all this custom CSS snippet because I have written these first few lines only for you. So let's focus on only these lines. Okay, so let's first start from here. It says bubble color. 
Bubbles are basically these bubbles. Here we can see one big and another is small bubbles. So these colors are basically coming from this. By default, I have set its color to white, but if you want, you can make it any other color, for example, red. So these two bubbles color is now becoming red. But I'm going back to the white color. Then here is the heading circle size. So heading means this 11 letter and this circle. Its default size I have set to 80 pixel, but if you want, you can make it bigger like 180. You see, it's now becoming more bigger, but I don't want that. I just want to keep it only 80 pixel. Then here is the heading background color. So right now it's kind of whitish, but if you want, you can make it any other color like here. I'm making it to blue. You see, this circle is now becoming blue color, but I don't want that. So I'm going back to the previous whitish color. Now let me explain these shapes. Don't get confused. These are super easy because there is a ready generator for that. So first of all, have a look on this first shape. It says card shape. So card shape basically means the container shape, this inner container shape. So have a look here. First of all, if I make the card shape instead of all these, first I'm removing these all percentage. You see here on the right side, the shape has gone. But here, if I keep it only 50%, you see it's now becoming a complete circle like this. But instead of this circle, I want that custom shape. And to create that shape, we will be using a free generator. I mean, free shape generator or border generator, you can say. So to get that, you can again go to gymfiredigital.com. From here, I have set the link under important links. Here it says fancy border generator. So here I'm opening the link. This is the fancy border radius generator. So first of all, Remember, we are creating the border or the shape for this bigger container, this one. And you may remember we have set its height and width to 350 pixel. So go to the generator. Here, first I'm opening the custom size. So instead of 370, I'm setting the width and height to 350 pixel. Now you can move these corners the way you want to create your desired shape something like this and you see underneath the border radius has been created on its own just click here on copy now go inside elementor and here i'm removing the 50 percent from here instead i'm just pasting the custom shape we have just created and here we go then you see if we hover over on this card it's becoming 50 percent or completely circle so that's basically coming from here you see the card hover shape i have set it to 50 percent then i have made the complete alternative on this card actually not card on this heading circle you see initially when we're not hovering over on that it's the 50 percent because here the initial header shape is 50 percent and when you hover over on it like this you see it's getting a custom shape so if you want you can also create this shape from the generator so first of all i'm removing this shape from here so have a look now initially the heading shape is circle but now if we hover over here it's becoming a square shape because we have removed the custom shape from this place now let's create another shape from the generator for example, let's create a shape like this. Okay, I'm just making a bit circular like this or maybe like this. And then make sure this heading height and width is set to 80 pixel. Here we have set that 80 pixel. So from the generator, we also need to set the width and height to 80 pixel here also 80 pixel like this. Now just copy this custom border radius from here, go inside Elementor and here on heading hover shape, I'm pasting the custom shape. Now have a look, initially the heading is circled and when we're hovering over on this container, it's getting the new custom shape. How cool is that? So it's easy like that. You can play with all of this and you can make more cool shapes. So let's now just minimize the bar from left. And I know you all are curious if it's mobile responsive or not. Of course, I will check it if it's responsive for all other devices. But before that, I just want to duplicate it. So let's duplicate it from here. Also duplicate it one more time. 
and to make it really easily accessible we can open the navigator so we can understand where we are working with so let's now select the second inner container this one let's change its color to any other color like hash bb3 fff and i'm copying this color because i want to use the same color on the button so let's replace the button color with that as well and also with this right bubble let's select its heading i'm changing the title to 33 and the color let's set it as hash 49a6f0 let's copy this color code because i want to apply it on the button so on the button color i'm pasting the color and by the way if you want to create different shapes for these different cards you can of course do that let's say if you want a different shape for this second container just select the container okay i'm just selecting it from the navigator make sure we have selected the second container go under its advanced tab and open the custom css field let's make the bar a bit bigger so we can see it properly make sure from the first line it says card shape i'm removing these percentages from here now go again on the radius generator side and here you need to make the height and width to 350 pixel also the height 350 then you know you can create the custom shape from this place like this i'm just creating a random one so you can understand it's getting from here now let's copy it go inside elementor and within the card shape i'm pasting the new shape here and here you go it's getting the new shape all right let's minimize it because now i want to check how it's looking on tablet and mobile devices to check its responsiveness you know from here click on the responsive mode icon first let's go to the tablet so on the tablet everything is looking great but this bubble is going over the 11 text so to avoid it just select the heading widget now go under its advanced tab from here i'm just increasing its z index value to 2 so let's do the same with all other heading widget just go under advanced tab and set the z index to 2 also let's do the same for the third one here z index value to 2 so it's now looking great on tablet device now let's move to the mobile device on the mobile device it's also looking great so click on the right top x to close the responsive bar and don't forget to click on this green update button to save your work i hope you have learned something new today if you like it please give this video a big thumb up and don't forget to subscribe to this youtube channel also press on that notification bell icon to get notified before anyone whenever i will upload a new video on this youtube channel also if you want me to help you on your wordpress project or elementor project then you can contact me through my website that's jimfahaddigital.com i will try my best to help you personally once again thank you so much for watching this full tutorial i will see you in the next video for now bye bye